know, I guess how the whole sponsorship side of things work, but the the Castrol team, because oh, you see yeah. yourselves in the Castrol shirts. How how did that all come about? And was there sponsorship from? Could you get mining companies to do it, or how how did the whole <coughs> process work? Um, I I come from West Australia, back over the eastern states, and I was working up in Woodlawn. Um, a guy that I was in business with in a mining thing and get end up getting me back as a foreman. And while I was there, he said, um, I think he must have approached Castro to get this Castro if they want to support a rock drilling team. As you see, the T shirts up there. I've still got I've still got a, the original Castro T shirt inside and that one hanging up there. Um anyway, so we flew to Sydney. So there was myself, Steve Thomas, um Peter Castles, yeah, I think it was um no, I think it, yeah, it was Castles, yeah, and Colin. So we flew up to Sydney. They flew us to Sydney, put us up for the night. Um, we had to meet them the next day. Anyway, they put us up in King's Cross, of all places. <laughs> anyway, so – and Clarky was really pissed off because he organised it all, but they didn't want him to come up. <laughs> right, so the four of us here. So we've gone down to a coffee shop down there and had some tea and everything like this. Anyway, they had all these uh, martini lists and everything like that and – Castles has gone, oh, you want to have a martini? So we decided to have a couple of martinis and a few more drinks and a few more drinks and walked around and had a look at the peep shows and everything like that. And then the next day, we're in the three highest people in the Castro oil industry in Australia sitting at the big round table with four guys like this because <laughs> we're, we're crooked from the piss. Anyway, we couldn't keep our eyes open. After 20 minutes, they said, would you guys love a break? And we're going, oh, yeah, thanks for that. <laughs> anyway, so we went out and had a coffee, but it was all good. So they came up with – they wanted to sponsor us. They come up with that T-shirt design. Um, if you see the team, it's got team, then Castro, then Rock Drill. You see they've made the team and the Rock Drill – crumbly like a rock crumbles yeah it was a really good design so they come up with that they gave us i don't know how many t-shirts probably about like 40 each um maybe even more um they agreed they said we will sponsor you to the five biggest rock rules in australia so that was i think rosebury obviously colin didn't have to fly because he was there then you got uh western australia which was a kalgoorlie one um i think it was coba broken hill and mount isa so that was probably the five biggest. We will pay for your airfares to go there, so we will sponsor you. You have to represent the Castro team, um, and we will give you a bonus of, if you win the singles, you get a $1,000 bonus. Yeah. Doubles, a $1,000 bonus. Four-man teams, a $1,000 bonus, and no push, a $1,000 bonus. So basically, every time we went to a rock drill, we picked up four grand before we even started. Yep. So that was $1,000 each, and that paid our airfares. And when, when did that start? What, what year was that, did Ooh, you say? 93, 92, yeah. 93, something like that, 90. <coughs> anyway, that was really good. And um, then everyone started cracking the shits. They just thought, oh, how can we beat this Castrol team? And we're going, what are you talking about? Well, it's not fair. You're the Castrol team. Hang on a minute. Colin and I drew together. Castles and Tomo drew together. We drew together in the four-man teams. All we've done is put a T-shirt on <laughs> So it hadn't really changed, you know, and Ian Cameron was in the Castro team at one stage as well. So it hadn't really changed. It was just these four guys that was wearing a T-shirt. Yeah. Then all of a sudden, the BP team started. Oh, so there was others. Yeah, yep. Um, yep. there was um, Hillbeck's Heroes from Rosebury. <coughs> if you see up there, um, that was probably the original first team. You see the ICI shirt up there? Ah, uh, yep, the yellow yeah. one, yep. Yeah, well, we were sponsored by ICI at one stage over in West Australia. I can't think, it was me and Maisie. Who's ICI? ICI Explosives. Oh, right. Now it's, uh, oh, that's it's Orica. Orica, yeah. And, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So that was ICI back in those days. So before even that started, um, before the Castrol team, ICI, you know, they tab around all the mine sites. Oh, do you just want to wear our T-shirts to myself and Maisie? Oh, yeah, no worries. They didn't sponsor us. They just gave us the T-shirts to yeah. me. You know, yeah. So, so the, and it just snowboard, and and um, then you've got like the Broken Hill guys. They had their top, uh, sponsor team. Then you yeah. got Cobar. You got the Man Isa boys. All of a sudden, these sponsors started sponsoring these teams because Castro had this. Well, these four guys that was always drilling anyway yeah. were wearing Castro shirts. So, how long did the Castro 
partnership. Oh, I think it went for about. To... I think it went for about four or five years. Um, in the end, they said, "You're too successful." And I went, "Oh, right, eh?" <laughs> they were sick of paying the bonus. <coughs> well, but even like... just getting the flights paid for and everything. That's. Um, oh, that, but it was for the five. So you you were still fronting the bill for the other ones around. Yes, it was yeah, just yeah. for the five. It was just ones, for the five it? main ones. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah, they said it was it was um, too successful um, in the end. Um, we was always a bit successful before that, I thought. Um, but getting back to that Castrol team and them shirts, every drill we went to, it didn't matter what drill we went to, when the drill was over, someone wanted our dirty T-shirts. Oh, right. As did, souvenirs. Yeah. Did, it was just... That was just unbelievable. It is, it is literally like a bloody NRL game, isn't it? Like a bloody state of origin. That was, that was just <laughs> Did madness. you sign any for them? Um, no, I don't think so. <laughs> no, we're not, we weren't that popular. You weren't signing boobs yeah, or anything. They, they, look, they could have taken them home and put a stick through them and burn them at the cross. I don't know. But, you know, like 